One of the most interesting aspects of speaking is neuroscience. Neuroscience shows us what chemicals are actually being released by a human being into their body. Over the last 10 years, we have had so much new technology, new science that's shown us more and more about the way our brain works. But over and over, what we're learning is that the thoughts that we create, create feelings through those chemicals that are then flooded into our body. As a speaker, if we know that those chemicals flooded into the body create a specific feeling, and we know how to create that feeling, we can help drive positive emotions from our audience. Emotions of wanting to do more, of wanting to improve, of wanting to get better. Learning how to cultivate the emotion of our audience is simply a matter of preparation. That emotion allows them to make better decisions. It allows them to start seeing things differently. So speakers, whether they want to or not, they are using that neuroscience when they're speaking and it's happening in their audience. When we're aware of which way it goes, we're also going to avoid some of the pitfalls where we're going to drive negative emotions in an audience. Go look some of this stuff up. Neuroscience is a very, very powerful tool and you should be studying more of it. Follow me for more.